Salam and hello everyone. Today my discussion topic is derivatives of pharyngeal arches and the pharyngeal pouches. This topic is very important for both post-graduation and undergraduate examination. So let's get started. Here, I have drawn a picture of embryo aging 5 weeks, the time when pharyngeal arches along with the pharyngeal pouch and the clefts appears. These structures, these are pharyngeal arches. Pharyngeal arch. And these grooves are pharyngeal clefts. Human embryo has six pairs of pharyngeal arches one two three four and six number five visually disappears for more detail now i will draw a picture of section of developing pharynx of embryo aging five weeks So this is the section show the developing pharynx. As you see, it has three layers or three lining. This inner lining is the endodermal lining. Then the middle yellow portion that is outer to endodermal lining is the mesodermal lining. And the outermost layer is the ectodermal lining. So from inwards to outwards, Three layers are endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. This mesodermal lining takes part in formation of pharyngeal arches. So this is pharyngeal arch. Each pharyngeal arch consists of a core of mesodermal tissue covered on outside by surface ectoderm and inside by the epithelium of the endodermal origin. The outer ectodermal lining forming some grooves. These grooves are called pharyngeal clefts. So these are pharyngeal clefts. Now the endodermal lining forming some pouches inside. These pouches are called pharyngeal pouches. So inside these pouches are pharyngeal pouches formed by endodermal lining. Now numbering the arches, this one is the first arch, second, third, fourth and sixth. First, second, third, fourth and sixth arch. You may ask why is the fifth arch? The fifth arch usually disappears. Each pharyngeal arch has three components. These are arterial component. Arterial components usually derives from aortic arches. The other component is nerve and another component is cartilaginous component. All the pharyngeal arches has these three components. Each pharyngeal arch is also characterized by its own muscular component. The muscular components of each arch have their own cranial nerve and wherever the muscle cells migrate, they carry their nerve component with them. This one is endodermal epithelium and this one is laryngeal orifice. Again summarizing the pharyngeal pouch is composed of endodermal lining, and the pharyngeal cleft is lined by ectoderm. Pharyngeal arches consist of mesenchymal core 
which is covered outside by the ectoderm and inside by the epithelium of endoderm. Now coming to derivatives of pharyngeal arches. From the first pharyngeal arch, first of all, the muscles that are derived are the muscles of mastication. We know the muscles of mastication are the group of muscles that helps in mastication. These are temporal, masseter, medial and lateral pterygoid. Along these muscles, some other muscles also derived. These are mylohyoid, anterior belly of digastric, tensor palatine, and tensor tympani. So muscle of mastication, mylohyoid, anterior belly of digastric, tensor palatine, and tensor tympani. These are the muscular derivative of first pharyngeal arch. The nerves that is derived from the first pharyngeal arch maxillary and mandibular division of trigeminal nerve that is fifth cranial nerve the second pharyngeal arch that is also called hyoid arch where the first arch is also called mandibular arch from the second arch the muscle that are derives are muscle of facial expression these are puxinator auricularis frontalis platysma orbicularis oculi and orbicularis oris along with the muscles of facial expression some other muscles also derived those are posterior belly of digastric, stylohyoid, and stapedius. Then the nerve that is derived from second arch is facial nerve. Number seven cranial nerve. These are all derived from second arch. Coming to third arch. The muscle that is derived from third arch is stylopharyngeus and the nerve is glossopharyngeal nerve that is number 9 cranial nerve. So stylopharyngeus muscle and glossopharyngeal nerve develops from third pharyngeal arch. From the fourth pharyngeal arch, the muscle that it derives are cricothyroid, levator palatine, constrictors of pharynx. The nerve that is derived from fourth arch is superior laryngeal branch of vagus nerve. Superior laryngeal branch of vagus nerve. Coming to the sixth arch, the muscle that is derived from the sixth arch are intrinsic muscle of larynx and the nerve the nerve is recurrent laryngeal branch of vagus nerve recurrent laryngeal branch of vagus nerve these are all about the nerves and the muscular derivatives of pharyngeal arches here you may notice i didn't include the cartilaginous derivative of pharyngeal arches which I will discuss later along with the derivatives of pharyngeal pouches in my video number 2. So for derivatives of pharyngeal pouches and the cartilaginous derivatives of pharyngeal arches, you are requested to watch 
video part 2 that's all for today stay connected